Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an intuitive card reader and I'm an empath as well. And before I go any further, I'm put, I've put up my smudge of sweetgrass and sage. Sweetgrass grows right on my front lawn, naturally. And um, this is a, a cleansing ritual is what it is. It, clear, it clears the air. It kills actually literally bacteria that are airborne. Um, I've cleansed all my cards. I've cleansed my cleansing stones that were picked right here off the beaches in the Bay of Funday. And now I've smudged myself as well to clear my own energies. And now this one is for you guys. This is for you. I get it to go. There we go. That's all for you guys. We all want to have good energies all the way around for a good reading. A good, healthy, what I call juicy reading. That's what the spirits call it. I got that um, heard that one night when I was doing the reading. They wanted the viewers, um, whoever it pertained to and resonated with, to uh, go to someplace juicy for the vacation, <laughs> and I cracked up. And it's the funniest thing. The spirit guides, uh, masters of the universe, masters of the natural world order, they do have a sense of humor. All right, so this sign is, this, this reading is for the sign of Aquarius. It is the mid-month, August 2016, general reading and what that means by general is that um this may or may not resonate with you on a personal level you may take something of it some of this might hit home with you um some maybe nothing at all we will walk away with nothing and maybe an awful lot does because people comment back not just here but i'm on facebook as well uh, Bay of Fundy Fortunes, you can find in there, or you can you can look for me as well. Um, and people comment that the whole reading um, applied to them. Um, they were shocked <laughs> and uh, got goosebumps, and their hair was standing here, freaked them out. Anyways, um, let's get on with the reading. I've done a five-card spread using my Oceanic Tarot deck that's used for Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And I pull one, I pull five cards from it. And one significator from my deck of tarot that comes at the very, very end. So, um, okay, um, five card spread. Uh, first card lands in your overall energy. Your second card is your house of finances and wealth, anything pertaining to do with money. Your third is your heart, your love, your romance, your family, your home, anything close to your heart. The fourth card is your, um, it's your uh, challenges for mid-month August. Uh, Capricorn. I did say Capricorn because we're doing Capricorn. I might have said Aquarius earlier. This is for Capricorn. Um, and the fifth card that I pull from the Oceanic deck is the message from Spirit. And then I pull Significator at the very, very end of the reading. One more thing before we go on. We have a high tide here. I have a beach that runs below my house. There's a cove in my backyard with an island. And I live where the highest tides in the world come in. Um, we're famous for that. And tonight the, hot, the tide is coming in very high and there's a wicked surf that's just pounding the, we'll say, keep it clean, pounding the sand right off the beach. It's very loud and very proud. And I'm, I've got the windows open, so I'm hoping you guys um, can pick, I hope that the, uh, the microphone is sensitive enough, sensitive enough to pick it up. It's late here, so I'm going to fumble my words. Anyways, let's get right into the reading. Um... There we go. The first card I pulled for you in your overall energy is the star. Which is all about hope. When this card appears, it is a symbol of hope. Um, it's also a symbol of intuitiveness. So there's a lot of you out there right now, Capricorn, that are your, your intuition is very, very sensitive. Very sensitive to all the energies coming off everybody that's around you right now. You should be able to almost read everybody like an open book. No matter what's coming out of their mouth, what they're speaking about, what they're talking about, what they're directing to you or taking from you, they may really mean something else. You're going to pick up on that second sense, not of the verbal, but what's behind that. So you're, some of you are, that's for some of you. Right now, there are also lessons to be learned from hardships and heartache. So some of you may have gone through that quite recently. You may be going through it and experiencing that right now. And there are always, no matter whether it's right now or just, there's always, always, always lessons to be learned. Always from bad. There is some good that comes out of bad. 
um, that's just life, I guess. Um, you can, um, you'll be gaining hope. Um, some of you are at the end of that trial of going through some kind of a hardship. For some of you, you, you lost a job and you went through a very, very lean, dry period that scared the pants right off of you. I'm feeling, that's what I'm hearing very, very strongly. Um, and now there's, the, for, for some of you, there's a new business opening in town. You want to get your foot in the door and you're going to get there really, really quick. So this is a really good time for this. Um, you're going to get help from the universe and protection. And um, you can trust that the universe will bring you what you need as you need it. The star also guides you to happier times, um, revealing growth. Whether you're aware of it or not, you're, you're growing all the time. When you go through a hard time and you come through a bad stretch, the growth, the growth is, 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 it can be mind blowing. Um, lessons learned, um, maturity levels rise up. Some of you may harden a little bit. That happens. That's life. Um, don't stay that way. Don't let the, the hardness of the world uh, encompass you. Everything is about personal perspective and how, from where we're sitting and how we're looking outward at the world. It's our cho our choice to see how we see the world. Um, the guides are saying for some of you, you're struggling with that quite a bit. You know what? Here's the thing with life. And, and, and this is the feeling that I'm getting the heat off the card here. And I'm not just to tell you this. This is the way of life. It's all our personal perspective. If we stand back and look, stand outside our own personal lives and look back in an objective way to see our lives and see ourselves, how other people may see us, detach yourself emotionally and try to get in your head and stand back and look at your life without getting personally involved while you're looking at it. A lot of awakenings can happen there. That's what's coming off this card. Okay. And what it's your choice for good or bad, how you're going to view the world and where your level of hope will be, if there's any hope at all. Um, you can look at all the negative things. And you know what? I don't know what it is about life in the essence of humanity, but in our, it's in our nature to, for most people, not everybody, but for most people, to, to take the negative side because it's easier. Instead of, it takes, especially when you come through a long trail, a trial of any kind. Um, it's easy to let yourself, your mind be a little warped and, and leaning more toward the negative things about the world and about life and humanity in general. And it takes some work after the hard struggle to look at the good. Here's the thing. The good will always reward you back with good. The negative, you're just going to get more and more of, the, more of that because misery loves company. It's a given. It's one of those things about life that can't be explained. It just seems to draw um, negativity, seems to draw in more negativity. But the opposite is true as well. That negativity couldn't be there if it wasn't for the good. And the good, the more that you struggle to look for good and the more you struggle to keep hope, that's going to grow in your life. That will multiply. It will blossom. Okay. Um, the star is here to tell you that you are on the right path and that all is going to be fine and all will be fine. Life's a roller coaster. It's like this most times for most people. It's just up and down. It's a ride. And sometimes you got to put on the crash helmet and you got to put on the safety belt and maybe some armor and hope for the best because you know you're about to go for a ride and hope that you come out on the other end in one piece standing on your feet. That's what living is all about. Um, the advice of this card is to follow your heart, respect your inner knowing. There's your intuition coming in again. Trust the universe will bring you what you need. The keywords are dreams, intuition, healing, rebirth, and wishes. So that, Capricorn, is your overall energy. The second card that I pull for you in your, your uh, financial and wealth sector is the Four of Cups. And it's a word that I don't like. It represents boredom. I don't like boredom at all. There it is. Okay. So, 
the degree of this is lessened because this is cops. Cops, cops are, I would say, 98.9% .9 of the time a good card to have. They can delve with into the heart. And sometimes what the, we find in the heart isn't always what we thought we were going to find, not what we went looking for. But hearts, they ease the degree of any negativity in, within the tarot reading, within the spread. Just to put that out there. The advice for this card is to look for inspiration and renew your faith. Again, it's being reiterated from spirits, okay? From spirit, this is what I'm hearing, that life again will bring you what you need. This card emphasizes that. Um, when the four arrives, you're looking for better. Well, if you've just been through a really long, hard struggle, absolutely looking for better. Some of you are feeling dissatisfied. No belief of a better love, no belief of a better life or a better job. Some of you are retreating into a shell, that metaphorical shell where we go to hide um, and close the top down and the lid down and we curl up into a ball inside and it's dark and we can't hear anything and our senses are not being stimulated. And then we seem to go deeper and deeper and deeper. But here's the thing. There's a little flicker of hope in there. That hope is what is going to make you crack that shell just a tiny little bit and let a little bit of light in. Um, enough to stimulate your senses a tiny bit to kind of like kickstart them. If our senses are not being stimulated, we become very bored. We become very stagnant. For those of you, um, the universe, it, what I'm feeling here right now, um, is that the universe is going to have a great hand what's coming up for you in mid-August as far as finances go and jobs go and that sort of thing. Um, the key words for this card are stagnant, despondent, disillusionment, self-protection, need for change and rigidity and stubbornness. These are not good things. Not at all. It wasn't for landing in the cops sector. Um, the degree of this would be much worse. But here we are in your financial sector. And for some of you, may have been doing some overspending over the summer uh, with an attitude of, you only live once, what the heck? I'm living large. I could be dead tomorrow. You know, um, and, and um, living that way is wonderful. But for most of us, if we don't have a really, really, really large bank account, we can fritter through. Um, our money through the good times and that's going to lead to some struggles down the road a little bit you're going to start hitting some bumps and in incomes reality and wipes that big old cheesy grin right off your face because now you're getting when you're seeing your bank balance it's not good for some of you as well changing jobs life goes on some i'm feeling the nudge to say some of you are scared to death to start a new job absolutely almost Petrified to immobility, almost panic attack. Um, you know, I was that way myself in all my working years. Every time I started a new job, I was just physically ill with nerves. Um, how bad was I going to mess this up? By the end of the day, it wasn't so bad, or I did better than I thought. Or even there were a few times when I thought, this isn't going to work for me at all. I'm out of here. Uh, look for something else. You're going to find another job. It's not the end of the world. Easy, I know, for me to sit here and for me to say these things, but that's reality. I don't create reality. I don't create your reality, of course. The cards don't create your reality. That is life. You will find another job. Don't worry. You'll get back on your feet. The card implies the universe is helping you here. It's going to lay, um, not lay, but, but kind of nudge you along down the right paths. That, that could lead to success for you. It's it's giving you more chances than it normally would. Believe in that. It's coming. No problem. Your bank account will grow again. You'll be okay. Um, the third card that I pulled for you, in your romance, love, home, family, heart, is the Queen of Cups. And she's about sensitivity. She's very beautiful. She's very beautiful indeed, if I can just get her up here. Okay. She's holding that cup up. All right. 
sensitivity. The advice of this card is to tune into your nurturing side in decision-making your emotional side. And intelligence is your best guide. Remain logical. That's a big thing. Um, the key words for this also are love, nurturing, generosity, protection, caring, and emotion. Um, be openly loving towards your friends and your family right now. That's really, really important. Um, when this card come along, comes along, she represents loyalty and creativity. Um, any projects that you have on the go right now are going to finish quite smoothly. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing that um, <laughs> I don't mean sometimes I get the giggles because of what I'm hearing. I translate it out different than what I'm hearing you to make it a little easier to take. But some of you have started projects. And it was Murphy's Law kicking in full time for some of you. Anything that could go wrong went horribly wrong. And you, at one point, looking at the sky and you're saying, for those of you where projects were like for building, building a building, homes, sheds, barns, whatever, there's a point where the weather wasn't cooperating and it didn't just rain for seven days. It poured, teamed, hard, hard, hard rain. Um, the kind that kicks up the dirt and the dust when it hits and you can't work building or doing any kind of outside job like that. And there were points where you were just gritting your teeth and your jaw bones were popped and you just wanted to throw rocks at the sky. Stop flipping raining. And, and, and you know, I'm sure if you look back on that, that you're probably going to giggle and smirk to yourself and go, yeah, that's kind of how it was. I was really pissed off. You know, it's, these things happen. And that's what I was hearing to put out there to tell you that. Um, but now at the end of the projects, it's running. It's almost like all the pain you went through in the beginning. The ending is making up for that. And boy, are you ever sliding into home base. One big, long swipe. And there's nothing in your way. There's nothing slowing you down. Um, everything is, is going to finish to perfection. And you'll say to yourself, huh, that was a piece of cake. Easiest job I ever did. And then people, other people are going to look at you and go, oh, yeah, you forgot what, how it all started. And you did forget. So that's a good thing. You don't want to hang on to all that anyway. Um, new relationships are going to be almost a comedy waiting to happen as well. So I'm getting the heat from the card here. Um, the, any dates uh, that you go on, it's going to be nerves are in the forefront. For some of you, super, super, super nervous. You don't know this person really well. You might have met through a friend, maybe an online dating service. For some of you, I think it's through friends, through work, um, college, school classes, whatever, that type of thing. You met, you liked each other, you've had a little bit of conversation. One of you didn't wait very long to pop that question of you. Would you like to hang out? Would you like to go out? Um, I'd like to ask you out with me. Um, Tell me what your, your likes and things are. You thought that was the hardest part, that once you got past that, that everything was going to just kind of like fall into place. And that's not what that's not what's happened at all. What's happened is um, one of you spilt the, your, your first drink all over yourself and you were really nervous about drinking and eating in front of this other person. Some people are like that. Um, and it's it's one of those ones you've spilt your drink and it's gone down the front of you. So they, you know, the other calls for the waitress to bring another drink and they're trying to dry off. And, um, you know, you uh, make a mistake and you order spaghetti, right, and salad. And salad's real crunchy. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'm seeing the mental picture here. You, you know, one of those ones, you've got the fork up. You're so self-conscious about eating and chewing. And, you know, and you go to put the food in your mouth and the food falls off the fork before and the empty fork goes into the mouth, you know, um, this type of thing. And now you've got like lettuce on the table. It's not in the plate. And now you're going to try to eat spaghetti. Well, isn't this going to be fun? It's just a disaster. One of you will trip on the way leaving the restaurant. Um, <laughs> not just a little stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. You think I'm nuts here, but I'm seeing this. Um, and what I'm seeing is it's the guy. There's a guy. And he, when you're going out, out the restaurant doors and you're leaving and he misses a step. He trips over 
that little silver runner that goes like that separates the inner door from the outer door. And he doesn't just do one of these. It's one of these where he takes it sends him into three or four big long lanky steps and the arms are going like this and he's trying to catch his his uh, balance before he ends up on his face. He does catch the balance and then he straightens out real quick and tries to look really cool and all together for her. And she's standing there and she's trying to like look up at his lamplight, look at that car going by. That's a nice car. <laughs> Pretending because she's embarrassed for him. It's a disaster. I don't know where all that came from, but I was seeing it. I, I was being told that and being shown that. I hope somebody comments and says, holy heck, I just went through this. Okay, so um, when that happens, I'm, I'm, being, I'm hearing to tell you as well. When something like that goes down, your second date is going to be a piece of cake. You've made all the mistakes in the first date. You've made a, both made fools of yourself. You both felt uncomfortable and embarrassed with what went down. Um, and it was all because of nerves. And nerves are a funny thing because it's a worry about something that hasn't happened. And you brought all this on yourself because you were so nervous. Um, anyway, oh, this is a good reading. I'm enjoying this a lot. Anyways, let's see here. Um, yes, be nurturing. Be very generous with, generous with your family, your loved ones, your romantic partners. Um, be openly loving towards your friends. That's really important right now. Um, don't be afraid to hug them and tell you how you feel. You know, even a handshake. You know, I don't love you, buddy, but, you know, I like you. I kind of admire you. That's good enough, right? Um, when this card shows up, she offers loyalty and creativity. Uh, your projects will thrive. You can focus on your relationships and children and friends. And um, singles need to be ready for new love. Some of you are going to have... I'm not going to go back to that. So some of you are going to have, you know, others are going to have a new love come into their life. They've been dating or whatever, and now it's the falling in love stage. It's the stage where when you're at work or you're, you're not together and you're off doing your own thing in the daytime because you're still at that stage. Um, and you, you, you find yourself constantly thinking about that person. And when you think about them, it's almost like this warmth comes over you. And it's like sliding into a nice warm bathtub. And it's very comfortable. And then there's a feeling of anticipation that always follows that. You can't wait to see them again. You can't hear, wait to hear their voice. Are they thinking of you too? This is where everything rolls to. It's a wonderful thing. Good place for that card to fall. The next card that I picked for you is the Six of Wands. It's all about success. This is in your challenge sector. Okay, this card, when it shows up, does bring brilliant success after a lot of hard work. And others are going to be drawn to your light. You're going to be emitting this, this light of um, self-confidence, assuredness, very, very magnetic traits that, 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 that will and do pull other people towards you. They will be drawn to the light that is inside of you because it, it, it is portraying and projecting from you. Some people think as well, I've had this card a lot lately, um, that you, you um, some people feel you need to receive special recognition for something that you've done. Not all of you are going to be comfortable with that whole idea of recognition or reward or award. Um, there's one of the challenges for mid-month August that you have to struggle through that. Um, you know yourself in your own mind, but whatever this is, you do know in your own mind, even though you don't you don't want any recognition for it. Yes, you want people to know about it. Of course you do and see the good job that you did, but you don't want anything like over the top. Some people think over the top is what you deserve. Um, accept it graciously. Go through the motions and accept it graciously. Because you're going to make everybody else happy around you. And what the heck is wrong with that? You may have it a little, you know, feel a little, gee, well, golly, gee, shucks. You know, it wasn't all that great a thing. Um, come on. Admit it. They want to make a big deal about you. And you don't want that and you don't like that? Sure you do. So, I mean, let them do that. Go, go for that. You're going to struggle with it. But I feel for some of you, you're going to go through it. You're going to be really, really happy that you did. The advice of this card is to not hold back 
This is your time to shine. That's literal verbatim off the card. Um, you really deserve it. The card says you do. So stop fighting that. There's a challenge. And some of you are going to really, really struggle with this. Uh, your keywords for this card are victory, education, awards, love, proposals, strength, and ceremony. That's a great card. It's your challenges, but challenges are good. I always say when you when you run into challenges, all right, like I said a moment ago, if you were building something outside and all the problems that you had and all the challenges that you faced in the beginning were so overwhelming, you just wanted to throw the towel in, but you couldn't and you didn't, okay? So down the road, when things, when, when things got better for you, That there was the payoff. And you would say to yourself, now you go back in your logical mind, in your quiet mind, in your quiet moments, and you'd say, you know, I had a lot of challenges facing me on this. But you know what? Some things came out of those challenges. And if it wasn't for having those challenges, things wouldn't have went down the way they did. And I wouldn't be sitting where I am right now. This project wouldn't look, to look and the end result be as great as it is if it hadn't been for those early challenges challenges as much as we dread them and we you know we're gonna shy away from them um and we don't want we don't want ch challenges in the bigger picture oh yes challenges challenges are good there's lessons learned and challenges bring in other avenues in other directions that you never dreamt about going that you were kind of forced to i can't go that way and i can't do that i'm being forced to go in this way so you go that way and lo and behold it's incredible if you hadn't gone that way, certain things wouldn't have full, unfolded the way they did. It's a good thing. Okay, so the next card, and this is your message from Spirit, Capricorn. This is the angel of the ocean. She's all about healing. So Spirit has a message for you there. I hope you're hearing that, sir. I really do. It's wonderful. Really fits in with the reading. You guys are lucky that you're here, Capricorn, for this, if you can hear that. Um, let's see here. She's an interesting character because she is the angel of the ocean. And she's holding up two cups. And she's wrapped within the inside of the infinity sign. That's that sideways ink that I want you guys to see. Like the movie Toy Story, and I've said this in a couple other videos, because she's been showing up just recently. This is like the third time in the last couple of days she has shown up. On the 78 cards, and she keeps coming back up. Um, the sign of infinity, I've been saying, um, is like that movie Toy Story. Buzz Lightyear used to say, infinity and beyond. Infinity and beyond. And uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. This card represents permanence, length, Last is in lasting things that go on for many, many, many years that are there to bring comfort and lessons well learned. Um, she is also, um, let's see here, her purpose coming into this reading is to bring you harmony to your emotional, your mental, and your physical and spiritual well being. She is the peacekeeper of the sea. She heals past traumas. She balances your mind, your body, your, your finances. Finances for some of you, Spirit says, are going to take a priority now. That comes back for some of you going through that job loss. Okay. Um, the angels are here, this angel in particular, she's here to guide you through the stressful moments and the stressful times. She brings you hope. We're back to that again. For those of you that, that are maybe looking at the name, you, you still have that hope inside of you. That's why you're still here. That's why you're alive. That's why you're still breathing air, you know, sucking air on planet Earth, as they say. The advice would be to let this angel work a little magic in your life to reconcile oppositions or opposites. 
become a little bit more practical with everything, um, everyday things. Keywords are balance and patience, flow, angels, and finances. Everything's going to be okay. You're living life. If you don't have any problems, and you're not living life as far as I'm concerned. There's your message from Spirit. She's there to continue with the hope, to bring you hope from beginning to end. Through the end of mid-August, you do have hope. Let's get in the significator. Now, I've had her. I had her last night. And it's funny, she showed up again. Another deck of 78 cards. If you could see how long I shuffle, you'd be surprised at how many times, you know, I get these repetitive cards that keep showing up. And I won't fudge the cards. Um... They are what they are. I've had cards show up five, six days in a row. Same card in every reading. And no, it was not sticking. I checked for that. I cut the cards and, and shuffled them and shuffled them and shuffled them. We're talking two decks of cards about 40 minutes. I don't I don't mess around when it comes to shuffling the cards. I give them a thorough cleaning and a thorough shuffling. Anyway, this is your significator. What's sometimes called as the instigator. Um, it's the high priestess. She brings to the forefront anything that needs your attention in the reading, anything that's significant. Okay. The High Priestess. Let me get my book out for her. We're going to see what she's got to say. Take me a moment to find her. I should have marked it. I should have looked it up and marked it before I turned the camera on. Started the reading. Let's see. She's a major arcana, which emphasizes the power behind the card. It really brings her to the forefront. Here she is. She came in upright, which is always good. The High Priestess is a complicated card, representing a woman's sexuality and yet virginity at the same time. It also symbolizes wise judgment, animation, and strong creative abilities. That strong creative abilities pops right off the card in the meaning of the card. We're coming back to um, creative projects that start really rough but end really, really smooth. That is what that's pertaining to. That's going to be forefront and center for some of you Capricorns. Um, it symbolizes judgment, animation. Judgment and animation. There could be... Um, Coming down to the recognition within the reading for a great reward for something that you've done. If you don't accept it, and that's why I was stressing it, some will judge you and look at you in a different light and say, what's the big deal? Why are they Why are they um, so strong about not wanting to accept recognition? Um, that's not going to sit well with some people. That's why you need to go through with this and kind of swallow, bite your tongue, and go through it. Um For uh, those of you that have a new love coming in, this is brought to the forefront of the reading. Um, this is going to be for maybe one or two you love at first sight. A love at first sight. You're going to be um, the chemistry and the pheromones um, will be popping between the two of you. That's something for you to look for, not wish for, to look for. Um, for those of you, uh, this is for male meeting female in this case. It's not same sex. It's not um, the other. This is for a male that is watching this video. You will meet a woman who will knock your socks off. And um, it will be instantaneous for you. Uh, I don't see uh, a really uh, a long involvement. But it's going to be one that you never forget. Along with the theme for every reading so far this summer. The summer that you will never forget for a lot of you. Some of you may want to for the small part of you where this has been a bad summer. You're not going to want to remember it at all. But the last thing you can do is forget about everything that took place, unfortunately. For the rest of you, summer of love. Um, there's been a lot of that hormone popping thing going on and pheromone flying. Um, it's been a great summer where I live. Um, I think if you like the heat, we had too much of it, in my opinion. But anyway, um, 
yes, is a lot of um, relationships have developed over the summer. Um, not just lightly dating. People have been meeting and hitting it off. And that's a wonderful thing. It's good. Yes, there have been some breakups. There have been people that have been cheated on. Um, people that have been lied to have been used and abused. It happens. And that's a sad thing. Now, there are some people that never, ever want to remember this summer. Unfortunately, that is the way that it goes. So for now, Capricorn, this was your reading for mid-month August 2016. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, I don't think I mentioned that if you find that you liked the reading and enjoyed it, um, I do offer private readings. Everything's found below in the description box, below the window. Um, everything that pertains to private readings at Bay of Fun Day. Um, so all you have to do basically is shoot me off an email and say, I'd like to have a reading. It's just that simple. Um, if you haven't subscribed, in case you're brand new to YouTube and you're like, I'm not subscribing. Any yes, you are. Hit that button and subscribe. It's free. Don't worry about anything. And um, who can name the band that said the words, that saying the words, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Put that in the comment box. Just have a little fun with that. Who sang that song? It's a band. I'll tell you that. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. But with Bay of Fundy Fortunes, it's like the tide coming in and out. You're free to come and go as you please. But a very warm welcome to those of you that do join join, bleh, join the channel this evening. That's it for me tonight. It's uh, going on midnight, so I am done. I'll upload this and get it out there. It's going to take about four hours on YouTube. I wish YouTube could speed that up a little bit. Anyway, thank you very much for coming by, and I hope to see you back for September. September's full reading for Capricorn. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.